Hello, hello. Hello, hello. I have, I've, I'm making a very special journal at the moment and I put together a kit because I wanted to do something in this journal uh, and I just thought I would um, pop along and show you some of the kind of thoughts that I've had on using the kit. Um, it's This particular one is called Tags and Tops and what I initially thought was that you could take the tag. I've left a space at the top, which if you wanted to, you could attach a word, you could um, chop it into a tag shape and add your hole and um, silk or ribbon or, you know, whatever it is you like to add to the top of your tags. But I just wanted to show you kind of what I had in mind. There are several different tops. Um, there are, I think, three designs in three different colours. So what you could do is, um, you know, you've got options to have the different tops on top of the tags, like so. Um, you could attach writing paper to the back. You could attach um, two tags, which is this wasn't the original plan but then I thought of the lovely Wendy hi Wendy um, and her flipping tags as she calls them um, and it was the flipping tags that gave me the idea for what I'm going to do with this although it wasn't what originally I had in mind now I'm going to use this top and I'm going to just ink the second tag I'm not inking the top because that's going to be covered up like so and I'm gonna just sorry just bear with me okay so I'm just gonna fold this and just ink ink the top like so and then I'm gonna just put these these two together using Fabri-Tac for this because obviously it dries very quick while we're put a bit too much glue on there and a bit this side sure they're nicely stuck now um, what my plan is is to just find my bone bone folder I'm just gonna crease this where the top of the tag the tag is now you could glue that piece closed if you wanted to um, like I said you could sew some pages in here and make that a notebook but what I'm doing is I'm just like I said this is for the note the journal that I'm making at the moment um, now I've just got to think about where I put the last one <laughs> I want this one on the front and I'm doing three of these in the journal now what I'm going to do is just attach a tiny bit of glue to that side and I'm attaching a tiny piece to this side. So this is actually a permanent fixture, it's not going to move around. Now. I'm going to take my crocodile I'm going to put a hole in there Oh, that's not going to be straight I can get in here Grab one of my eyelets
just attach that in here. This one is so much easier when you're doing a video than the big one. And what I'm going to do is grab a piece of sari. Now I'm going to poke it in through the back because um, this is the rough side of the hole. Let's get something to poke that through. It's not going to go through particularly easy because the sari silk does catch on the edges of the eyelet, but I'll try and get that in there. And I'm like I said, I'm having three in this journal, three of these. One will be at either end, and one's in, and this is the, obviously the one that's in this kind of more centered. So um, there'll be, well, I'm doing a really pants job of that. So obviously I'll trim that down, that's a bit too too long, but you'll have three of these out of the top of the journal. And what I'm going to do to finish this off is, I mean this is a really, a really old book. Um, I'm just grabbing a couple of Tim Holtz dies. If I can decide which ones I would like to use. Those ones, I think. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I do wish these were inked. <laughs> That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? I'm going to grab my Fabri-Tac. And I know this is, you know, it's kind of... Not ruining the book page, but taking a little bit of that book page away. But I want the tag to be just able to tuck under this little... So you've got some journaling space there that it will tuck inside. And I'll obviously... I might do some more decorating on the page. I'm not sure as yet. Um, I just wanted to do these three and thought well it's kind of a nice way to use the kit and just thought I'd, I'd bring you along for a little crafting. Ooh, get this fabric tack out, it's time for, a, almost time for a new one I think. Okay, just make sure I don't put any of that glue on the tag itself. Out, I haven't. There we go. So that's just a little. Uh, well, that probably wasn't the best, the best um, die cut to use. This. So, um, yeah, the person who's going to get this journal might want to. Um, Oh, I can't get the blooming thing in. There we go. There, it's in. I never have to undo that again. This one is is nice and easy. Um, the other butterfly I used, I don't think had the little antennae, so that was that was a bit easier because I've already done one just to make sure it worked. Because there's nothing worse than coming on to do a video and finding out your idea is pants. So that's one thing. Um, the other thing I thought of doing with these which I, again I will will be doing is kind of attaching two together but on the right side so one flaps up and you've got a picture underneath but you've still got room to write and I printed some out quite small because the other thing I wanted to do was the same you know the same kind of thing but on a little tag so I've done it in miniature version on this tag and um you know, so there's still a little bit of writing space under there if you wanted to, or you could write a little quote or something on the back of that. Um, but yeah, that's the little tag I made. I've done a, um, I'll show you on here, I've just done a very, very simple paper clip, which um, will just kind of slot on to the side of a page. And I made this tiny little mini, mini tag. 
with some um, vintage that's actually book binding thread that I've, I've taken from a, a book I've taken apart so I really like this that's gonna that's gonna go inside the journal too but I'll just really quickly show you how I made the paper clip I mean it couldn't be easier couldn't be easier um, let me just ink the edges of this again I'm not going to worry about the top because that's um, that's going to get covered up but I will ink the, the little top top piece these are a little bit more fiddly to fold in half when you print them I've printed four pages on one page so that just gives you a little idea of so I'm going to decide which piece I want facing forward and I think this is the piece I want facing forward so I'm attaching the paper clip to the other piece um, I'm just actually which way did that one go oh. <laughs> I'm going to put this one this way because then it's the opposite way round to the other paper clip some of these paper clips seem like they're almost stuck stuck together they're pretty difficult to just going to put that about halfway halfway down take my fabric tack I didn't put the lid on give it a good good covering of glue especially around the paper clip the right way up and just stick those together now when I was cutting all of these tags um, I wasn't I wasn't um well my paper trimmer wasn't being very very friendly and cooperative and for love nor money could I cut a straight line N none of them so many of these I mean the ones I've just used I had to trim I had to trim a little bit it's just like nothing seems to work when it comes to scissors or paper cutters for, for me today. I was watching Gail actually earlier and she was saying, you know, she had a she did a video where nothing was going right and then the very next day everything kind of fell into place. So I'm hoping tomorrow everything's going to fall into place because today um, my paper cutter is, is just not being friends. Not being friends. I've um, I watched a video this morning as well lovely Jessica Rapp. Hi Jessica. Um, Jessica did an awesome, awesome tutorial on um, a curved spine and our, the journal that I'm making now is a, is a book cover and I thought that would be perfect because she reinforced some books using the method. Oh my days not quite to plan I'm just very glad that it wasn't something that was already in the journal and then ruined this lovely book that I'm using at the moment um, but yeah if you Jessica's video is awesome guys I'll pop her link down below so that's it very very simple paper clips and this kind of extension of Wendy's flipping tags idea and I really like this I'm really because obviously I if you put things on paper clips they move around and I'm never very good at getting them in the right place but because I've got a tag I'll show you the one that I did earlier this is the one that I did earlier I've taken the sari silk out of that because obviously it's all got to be sewn together and this one will come out too um, but yeah see that butterfly is, is nice and easy to slot that tag behind so that's that's it I think yeah that's it that was quick wasn't it um, I don't know where the other bits went oh well so um, I hope you found that useful um, I don't know if I've got anything else to tell you really it's, it's all a bit quiet and a bit dull around here at the moment um, although lots of crafting and I'm getting a chance to catch up on some YouTube videos because I am quite behind so yeah I will um, catch you all very soon see you later thanks bye